Hi guys, it's Tuesday, not Monday. Hold on. Um, yeah, sorry, I don't really know what happened. But me and Haley were talking about just pushing everything back a day because Mike doesn't post videos anyway. Um, so uh, today I got an album by Dissection. Very good album. Uh, I got it 15 years after it was released, but I still got it. Um, I buy about one album every three months or so, so I, I try to buy as much music as, as I can, but I really can't afford it. But yeah, this is my album choice. It was between this, Nadja, which I showed you guys a couple weeks ago. There was a Nadja album there that I didn't have. And... Oh, a Dark Throne album also. But, yeah. Um... Also, uh, I told myself that I wouldn't do any more games. That's just Chelsea talking. No answer in a minute. I told myself I won't do any more games, like game reviews. That I had to do this one. This one, like I just found it a couple days ago, and it was just released a couple days before I found it. Um, this one is probably the best game, the most entertaining, the most charming, charismatic, just a good fun game. Uh, probably the best one that I've played since Psychonauts, which is also a very good game and I recommend it if you can get your hands on it. It's quite rare. Except you can download it on Xbox Live nowadays, but I have a physical copy. So, uh, yeah, the reason, besides the fact that it's a really good game, um, the reason I chose to review this game is become will become pretty apparent after like five seconds of seeing the video footage of it. Alright, if you haven't caught on by now, the name of the game is World of Goo, so you know my spog username. Just when I saw this I was like, this is awesome. Also it's based on a game called Power of Goo. Or well that's its prototype and I played that a while ago and uh I thought it was a pretty neat game, and they've definitely improved on it by far. Now, like, this is the basic of the game. You just build a little, like, tower of goo up to a pipe. The pipe sucks up the remaining goo, and that's the premise of the game. But as you can see, the levels get a little more complicated, like this one here. You have to go wake up the goo down there. This is an early level. It's much harder than this. But this is me just like slamming goo into goo. Oh, that's also the sign painter. He writes a whole bunch of funny messages, helps advance the storyline, and gives a lot of helpful hints. And just listen to the music for a second. Just listen. It, it suits the game so well, and like it's got a lot of variety in its music, and some of it's just great. Um, like there's, there's some very stylish looking levels, like this sunset level where everything's backlit so everything's really black. It just looks great. And this is just me showing that you can't just build randomly, there's a lot of physics behind everything. Um, and if you just try to build the bridge across, straight across, it's not going to work, and you're just going to have a collapsing bridge. Um, like I was saying, the stylistic just choices behind everything in the game is so perfect. The artwork is fantastic. Like, this level is probably one of the best examples of good artwork. Um, this is just showing some different types of food. There's a whole bunch of different types, like inflatable, uh, there's giant that you have to break apart. That's just like a little epic scene there. Um, World of Goo has a lot of like themes in it. Um, one of them is like uh, consumerism and uh, the digital age and its effects. Uh, this is this is like one of its uh, stories about industrialization and commercialism, I guess. It, it makes a lot of comments on our society, but in a funny way. 
Um, and with the extra goo balls that you earn in the level, like you have a set amount of goo that you have to rescue. But after that, the extra goo balls get sent here. And you can build giant towers, and that's my tower collapsing. But, and you can compare your towers to people all over the world. I had the 350th tallest tower at one point, but it got demolished. So, um, yeah, that's the game. It's very cool. Um, this video doesn't do it justice at all. So that's World of Goo. It has about... I beat it in seven hours. People are saying seven, eight-ish hours to complete. Um, but after that, it's got a lot of replayability because there's OCD missions, obsessive compulsive, um, for people who are obsessive compulsive and want to do everything. Um, and yeah, it's out on the Wii and for PC. And I'm ah, this one I'm showing you is for PC, but. The one for the Wii is supposed to be pretty much identical, except it's on your TV, which might look better or worse, depending on how big your TV is, I guess. But, um, it's made by two guys, well, apparently a third one helped out a bit, but two guys made the majority of the game, and they made the graphics, sound effects, music. The music's incredible, I, I gotta say. One of the best soundtracks I've heard in the game in a long time. And I think anybody should check it out. If you read reviews from around the web, um, basically there's nothing saying that this is a bad game and you shouldn't get it. There's some reviews saying that it's missing a couple features or it would be better with a couple features, but in general, Everybody's saying it's probably the best game to come out on the Wii, um, like best downloadable content game, and just the best game for the PC, the best indie game for a PC in a long time, so or possibly ever. So yeah, support these guys if you can, and it's a fun game, so I don't know, try downloading the demos, all of Chapter 1, which doesn't really show all of the game, but it shows a good representation of it. But after chapter one, things just, well, actually after chapter three, things just get really, really cool. So, um, I'll see you guys next week, I guess, and uh, that's about it. Alright, see ya.